just impacting the everyday consumer, but business owners as well. Yeah, KZI 9 News reporter Jay Wan Jung explains what adjustments local food truck owners have been making to offset the soaring costs. Every little thing, it's just gone up. The price like twice, three times from the, uh, the price from before. And the food, uh, the produce, it's been extremely expensive. The sticker shock is real, and food truck owners in Eugene are feeling the pain. A bag of flour when I started was for four fifty. Now it's eleven bucks. Like a shallot. It used to when we first opened, it was like eight dollar per bag, and right now it's like. 16. At Bali Kitchen, owner Bagus Suryantara says he's even had to trade off ingredients in order to make things work without risking quality. Some of the product we also can't find the alternative, we just go, go with it. And that's not the only adjustment he's had to make. Here at Bali Kitchen, the business owner says they've had to shrink some of their portion sizes because of the inflation. Right now, they've kept menu prices the same, but he says if things keep going at the rate they are, they may soon have to raise menu prices too. Being King owner Jackson Hoyt says they've also had to reduce portion sizes and price hikes may come next. Yeah, don't be surprised if places are raising their prices. And it's not just food costs causing problems. It's everything. To-go boxes are like, for the sleeve, it used to be $4 to buy the sleeve. of This is just boxes. And it's 20 bucks for that sleeve that I used to pay $4 for. The wage of employees has gone up. So it's like, it's everything. Oil, gas, propane. Propane's higher than ever right now. Taqueria Don Megalito is one business that chose to raise their prices instead of shrinking their portions. We don't go to the extreme of, you know, upping them too high just because we are, uh, we do want to support people that still come. Dad always says we, it, we put it in God's hands that we're really grateful for them to even come and eat our food as well um, with everything going on. It's a sentiment other food truck owners also share with the ongoing struggles. Really love to thanks to for all of our customers, not only for Bali Kitchen, but any all of small business. And until things get better, just be patient with us. Reporting in Eugene, Jay Wan Jung, KEZI 9 News.